Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 modded. I'm Lord Forend, and we are here in the Realms in Exile, the Lord of the Rings mod. I should just record that once and play it every episode. So we have, for some reason, now we can join uh, Gondor in their defense against Sauron. So we are going to rapidly race an army down to Minas Tirith. Um, apparently we go by land, not by sea. And hope that Gondor doesn't lose before we get there. And then we're going to also have to fight some Wildman army. I joined both wars. Um, one off camera just because I was doing something else. Um, okay, that's done. Let's give that to you. Good. Let's give you a duchy of this. That way you don't accidentally fall under your father's control. And that would be that area. And we will finish connecting our lands to Galadriel's. And we can actually afford another colony. So, how about down here? Or we can't afford it, but um, we can hold another one. Come on, Gondor, don't lose. Another last alliance is being formed. Come on, there we go. And my cat has arrived to squawk at birds. Hi, cat. Okay, where is my army? Marching across Rohan. And Gondor is, in fact, losing some land. Negotiate defensive alliance, or should I negotiate an offensive alliance? Or right, maybe I can only do defensive. Well, I'll negotiate a defensive one for now. We'll just have to keep remembering to renew it every generation, basically. Okay. Glorfindil's wiped out some wolves. The cat is reconsidering her crazy jump. Hello, Rose. For those of you who don't know, my cat's named Rosie, and she has a particular fondness of rubbing the mic. You telling me to talk to you, cat? I'd love to, but I am currently recording. Um, second here, everybody. Let me just try and make it so the cat can sit on my lap. Okay, cat. So, do we think we can fight Sauron's army on our own, or do you think we need Gondor? I think we could do a lot of damage to Sauron, but I don't think we beat him on our own. We're not, after all, the dwarves of Erebor with a e almost equal number army. We have superior troops, yes, but quantity has a quality all its own. What I'd really like is Gondor to start a fight and then I can reinforce. It looks like they are considering that. Okay, battle will be joined. Oops. Why am I not in the... Oh, I'm on the wrong side of a river. There we go. Okay, big victory for Gondor. Thanks to my elves showing up at the end. Um, are you in another fight? No. Denethor died. Denethor the second now reigns. Because Bormir died of old age, age 90. His father died of old age, age 150. Well, that is uh, an age difference to say the least. Okay, I should probably just attach my army to the Gondorians. Like I did the last war. Okay, attach to... Nope. Attach to... I guess that's more likely to be his men-at-arms army. Okay, this is done. Upgrade that. That is mostly done. 
That's working away. That is done. This needs work. There we go. Didn't I throw down another colony? One, two, three, four. Nope, that's it. Okay. Morgul War Banner. Let's burn it. I don't trust the Nazgul not to come for it later. At least we didn't get his ring. Join a war. I'm already in both those wars. The Bjornings are doing fine for the moment. Golkodur is very strong, though. Oh. We can reinstate a knight, a claimed knight. That's always a good idea. I just gotta hope that, uh... Oh. Thauron called in his tributaries. But, alas for him, it didn't help. Now that is an issue. They're playing ping pong. Okay, they're almost white piece. So, what does that mean for our plans? Oh, something happened. It looks like Gondor lost a fight without my army there. Or Sauron just took something. Wait, my war? No, no, no. Holy War for the Kingdom of Athelion. Oh, I didn't realize Gondor attacked them. I thought it was the other way around. Hmm. Sure, we'll let the Galadrium. Galadrum. Occupy the Mirror Mirror. Dimral Dale region. Okay. Elven Forges? Yeah, probably. Okay, this is stupid. I'm going to just detach, because apparently I'm the only one who sees that walking in and out of a siege area every day is a bad plan. Okay. Attached to another Gondorian army. And improve the colony. Oh wait, that's already done. I should really have increasing development in that area. Should probably also give my grandson a land uh the money income. There we go. After all, if they have money then they'll actually develop things a bit. Which means then I don't have to deal with them. I get more money. Although, apparently he's just building buildings and not... Uh, he's upgrading settlements. Uh, no. I'm not going to enter a defensive treaty with you. Lock that person up. White piece, awesome. Gondor white pieced out. That's, or Sara, well. No, I suspect it was Gondor. They lost. Now there's the, uh. Wiping out the Wildman army, which has been wiped out. Ooh, Saruman wants a magical duel. Is there anything we are better than him in? No. Us winning is going to be largely luck. Oh, we did. Awesome. Okay, Gondor still stands uh, and hasn't gotten any weaker, which is important. Imladris, can we upgrade this? No, we need a ton of money.
the elven up, uh, economic upgrades are surprisingly expensive. Huh. The Forester line of buildings is slightly more profitable. I can't help you. I can't help you. Yes, I know that Dimrel Dale is going to be not available. I will protect her at the Bjorning Kingdom. I will protect her at Galadriel. Even though we are allied. Just so if they do get into a war, I will help them. You can demand money. Now I'm good. Really wish I could vassalize this guy. Foreign culture. Yeah. Oh, there's the Black Numenorean culture, too. Hopefully they clear that out at some point. Who wants evil Numenoreans living in the north? Not me. Oops. Come on, there we go. Embassies. Yeah, five more diplomacy because of that. How are you doing up here? Uh, they are building stuff, so I guess that means they are making money, finally. This guy is still not doing much. Somebody got a manipulation hook on me. Hmm. Okay. How is the development going? We are up to 26 there. Galadriel's at 34. At least our land down here is slowly developing itself as well. Okay, almost done in the south. Glorindel. Huh. Female conjugation of Glorfindel? Hmm. I don't know. Not related to him, though. Okay, another holding done. Oh, elven quarries can be built there. Interesting. Uh, let's grant this to... It really doesn't make a big difference, does it? They're almost all... All new people, I guess. We'll give that guy the land. None of our vassals can fight each other at the moment. In fact, we could go for absolute if we really wanted to. Protecting all our subjects. Let's see. Let's let's do this pass. I was hoping the dwarf would take it, but he's apparently struggling to just maintain his holdings. Oh, I can already upgrade that. Perfect. I'll give it to this guy, so that way he holds both. Really wish I could vassalize these guys as well. <sighs> Can't colonize underground. I guess we colonize more of the north. Or maybe the south here, because I don't think Isengard's going to colonize this. So this is land we can just kind of wander in and pick up. Although apparently the people living there got wiped out. Or else they just lost the land. It's quite possible they lost the land. Someone's trying to murder somebody. Uh, sounds like you may be misinterpreting some charters. Gain randomly 400 gold. OK. 
Okay, anything we want here. Honestly, any of this would be vaguely useful. Do we have armor? We don't have armor. Let's fix that. You're a master, you're decent. The master costs less than the very competent person. Oh, okay. Oh, she's underage. That's why we couldn't get it. There's definitely a slight problem with some of the elf mechanics in the sense that they can be underaged and still want jobs. Oh well, it happens. We could join a war. The Dorient Invasion. What the heck is that? The Dorient Invasion of this. But these guys are evil too. Weird. Oh, and he's also fighting Gul'guldur. Oh! That's not good. Can I join this? We do not want Gul'guldur getting any stronger if we can help it. We might already be too late. Oh no, they're doing fine. Oh, because Gondor's helping them, yes. Match the funding. Okay, that's good. We should just be able to take this and this war should end. that fight bother oh never mind we want it for them perfect disband army there we go upgrade that upgrade this it's amazing how we Expensive colonizing really is. Okay, that's upgraded. And Ladris is making quite a bit of money. You know, the benefit of, bu of buying these things is I may be able to now afford to lower my amenities. Which would be really nice. Ooh, Noldor Mail. Yes, please. How good is Elrond at fighting? 71. Could he fight Aragorn? Uh, 65. He could fight Sauron, if Sauron was, in fact, duelable. Even though he isn't. Um... Oh, the Witch King is better than us, though. Hmm. That's concerning. The Witch King might be able to outduel us in the event of a battle. We're not about to go fight the Witch King. Oh, nice. There's no way I'm giving up one of those things. Haldir wants a magical duel. Sure. We are so superior to Haldir in knowledge and power. It's hilarious that he even dared challenge us. An Oldorian goblet. Awesome. Let's check our grandeur. Ah, good. Can I go down too? I can. That'll save me another gold and a half a month. We're close enough. And we are 1,500 away from becoming High King of the Noldor. Oops, Bandit Country is back. 
Not good. Too cool conquest. That might be vaguely useful, but we're elves, so we don't really get any benefit from a lot of that. <sighs> Let's send this guy some cash. That way he's not completely dead. Uh, you know what? Let's send him another chunk of gold. Surely with 400 he can do something. Or not. Okay, he is doing something. I have no idea what it is. Oh, he's going mining. <sighs> Dulgodur is once again attacking the Bjornings. Well. Our armies will march to war. 4,000 of them should be actually quite capable of destroying Dulgodur on our own. But... As always, the more we can group up, the better. Yeah, as I said, on our own. How much did we lose? We lost 700 elves and killed 5,000. You know, that's actually pretty bad for the elves. Considering how few elves are in Middle-earth, that would be a very devastating battle. Okay, upgrade in Imladris. There we go. That'll save some money for our men-at-arms as well. And we win another battle because trying to fight the elves in the woods, even the Noldors do well with that. Okay, so that's getting upgraded. This is changeable over granted to a random Noldor uh, keep going south I guess since we're the only one in this lands we might in these lands we might as well keep colonizing them poor Aragorn he could be doing so much better if he wasn't wasting all his money fighting the Lossoth loss off aha well, we'll do this next episode. Thank you guys all for watching. Come back next time to see meet the new High King of the Noldor. See you then. Bye for now.